www.lawalum.com. Uh, today we have a very special guest, uh, a special person for all the residents of Mississauga, not only to One Magazine, uh, the third mayor of Mississauga and Canada's longest serving, Mayor McCallion. Thank you for having us in your office. Yeah, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. What does Mississauga mean to you? Well, Mississauga, in my opinion, I've lived in Mississauga since 1951 when my husband and I were married. We moved out here from Toronto. So uh, my family has grown up in Mississauga and with all the years we've been here. And my husband and I were very much a part of the community. As soon as we were married and moved out here, we got involved. I got involved in the Streetsville community in a major way. Uh, with uh, the uh, Streetsville and District Chamber of Commerce, I was president of it. Uh, and uh, I was, uh, both my husband and I were active in our church, Trinity Anglican Church in Streetsville. So we became part of the community, became very much involved. So the, uh, it's my home now, even though I wasn't born here, I was born on the Gaspy Coast. But uh, in my opinion, Mississauga is my home, Streetsville. Uh, that section of Mississauga is, is a very, uh, very important uh, area for me and uh, for my family because they've grown up there. We've heard the term a lot. Uh, <laughs> how do you feel about that? How do you feel about the term? Well, I think it's, uh, I, I like it. Yeah. It means action. No question about it. Uh, uh, I don't know how I got attached to it, but uh, people do it with, uh, with uh, sincerity. They don't, uh, and I, I just like to be called Hurricane Hazel. Did you ever feel, uh, becoming mayor of Mississauga, that you would be um, neglecting your duties as a mother to your other three, to your three children? No, I never, I never felt it because I made sure it didn't happen. Okay. And you know the Was children themselves. Was there a fear themselves. that it would happen? Pardon? Was there a fear that it would happen or that it could? Happen? No, not a fear. And it's a case of, of uh, adequate planning, of looking after your family, looking after the job you have to do outside the family. And as a case, it's all about planning. Okay, and for young girls who want to do um, that, who are mothers yes. and, and want to take on um, significant roles, yeah. uh, what would you tell them? How would you, I, I would would you give them advice? I would suggest that if they, whatever they undertake, that, uh, they, that they plan, they have a plan. If you don't have a plan, you don't know where you're going on anything. Uh, who would your ideal fourth mayor be for the city? No comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. Sorry, I don't comment on that. No. No. Is there a reason for that? Like, no, is there... I, I don't think it's appropriate. Not somebody. Um, not okay. Maybe if I worded it differently, just somebody who you would be proud to take on roles that you have done in the Are past. Are you asking me to name an individual? Not name an individual. A characteristic or I would some hope sort it of would person. be somebody that would like to carry on the great progress that the city has made. So that's all. Um, do you ever fear that the person will not be as passionate as you are about Mississauga? Again, I no, no comment. With the second issue, so every issue is a different country. For the second issue, we chose Portugal, and that's when we wrote about the hidden treasures within Portugal. We wrote about the Portuguese community within Canada in, as well, and within Mississauga. Right. Um, so we wanted you to choose a third country. I'd for China. Our third issue. I would. Uh, I would choose uh, China. China. Okay, and what are the reasons behind that? Well, I find China is a uh, is a very progressive city, a progressive country. Uh, I think they're uh, you know they're they're coming out of communism. They're in they're going on with private enterprise. I think they're looking after millions of people. Uh, uh, it's just amazing what they've been able to do and the infrastructure they're building and how they're converting their cities into. Uh, modern cities with all the modern uh, uh, facilities. Still got a long way to go, but I admire their progress, their organized, planned progress. To the viewers, I would say that uh, I want to congratulate those that have the courage and the determination and commitment to uh, start a, a magazine uh, about Mississauga. I think we are unfortunately only uh, seem to have outside of Mississauga publications in Mississauga. It's good to see it start within Mississauga, about Mississauga, 
because we got a lot of things to be proud of in the city. And uh, so it's uh, important that, and communication, you know, is, is one of the great successes of any community is to have a, good lines of communication and your magazine is just another great asset to to uh, advising the citizens of Mississauga the wonderful things that are happening in our city. Thank you. My future was yeah. to make a success of anything I did. So there was no specific goal, there was no, no specific, just it was just to be successful. Successful in anything I undertake to do, then I make a success of it. Pleasure, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, very good.